Hey guys, this is Apollo here, and today I'm going to do a review of the 1.4 skill high grade Wyndham. Alright, here is the Wyndham itself. Now I gotta say, this is a very simple build and a very quick build. So, well, I managed to finish this one, I think, about, I think, two or three hours really, and it's pretty fast. Like, I mean, the build is so simple that I can literally finish it in, in, in one sitting, really. So, yeah, um, well, let's go, into, let's go into details. So, in terms of details, well, you've got the navy blue, the white, you've got aquamarine, I think, as I call it, green for the joint, and yellow for the v-fin. So, yeah, um, since this this kit is based on that so-called fine build system that Bandai has been doing for like the Leo, the Maganek, Hybrid Leo, Hybrid Maganek, the Hybrid Death Army, um, well, this also follows the fine build system, but not the same as the uh, the Leo Maganek and the Death Army because sure it does have the the joints are just like this fine build system on the other uh, the other I mentioned but it does use the like so called the All Gun Project uh, poly caps on this kit so it's not it's kind of mixed really it's, it's mixed up this fine build like for you saw three kits and um, like a modern uh, All Gun Project hybrid if I put that simply so yeah now it's your stickers. Well, yeah, but it's not so bad on this kit itself, really. Let's take out the reach real quick. Come on, there you go. Okay, so in terms of stickers, basically it's all on the head. The, vi the visor, the uh, front camera, and the back of the head. That's it. So there is missing details that you need to fill in on this kit, really, but so I, didn't, I didn't really bother to fill in, honestly, because... It's not really that obvious, and it's not, I don't feel it's necessary really. So yeah, I mean, the, I mean, the only major, major thing, major um, cut, missing detail you feel is like the, the, this this green on the tip of the front, the main thruster here, and probably the uh, the gray inside the feet. Yeah, that's about it. But I think under that, I mean, yeah, I really, like this. I really, I really like this uh, design of Wyndham. It's pretty cool. I mean, the, look at that beef, it's pretty big. But under that, yeah, I mean, it, it is a pretty solid kit, it's pretty sturdy, so yeah, turn the de design is pretty good. Articulation for a, you know, so-called fine build system is pretty good. The head is on a double, double bulging, so it's up really far, down, front and back, side to side, rotate. The arms, okay, uh, the arms, well, I mean, it does have a polycap uh, hinge that lots of things for, but because the bulge is a little loose, yeah, oh, oh you, just do it, you can do it now, but sometimes when you try to move the uh, polycat, it does pop out. The arm just pop out, so be careful. Uh, the arms can go all the way around. The arms can go out <laughs> that far. Pretty good. Rotation at the below the shoulder. Single joint elbow, and just like the system, basically it uses C-clip joints. And for a single joint and elbow, that's pretty good, actually. Torso, oh, okay, ball joint and wrist. Which is a little bit loose, uh, kind of loose, so do be careful. Um, torso, okay, double ball joints, so... Yeah, uh, fortunately the waist isn't, isn't that uh, strong to hold on there, but... If you do make way you just, there is someone in that corner, not a lot, but there is, there is one. It's kind of. Front skirts are more together, but it's a rhythm, like I do. Side skirts are on a hinge and swivel. Back skirt doesn't move. The hips, okay, this is one thing I don't really like about the window. I mean, I know they're trying to do something new, but I really wish they used a polycat instead of, of a plastic joint because on the universal the universal joint on the hips, those are plastic pieces. The, poly, the polycap that, that usually goes on the universal joints are actually, it's actually in the thigh. So it's basically meant for the you know, rotation of the thigh, really. But I really don't like it because, honestly, it's not it's kind of tight sure you can stand it down which i i kind of did actually but it's not still the tight so i'm worried if i if i want to take out this kit one day and try to play around with it play around with it it probably be tight and snap the joints and be careful so as i was saying the legs can go for it that far that much back out rotation at the hip double joint and knee again those c-clip joints but it's pretty good yeah i mean this is a yeah it's pretty tight I mean, it's, it, it stays, but yeah, I don't like it really. The thruster on the uh, the sh the calves can can rotate on a on a on a on a, sorry, can move on a peg, and the thruster on the uh, back of the leg, they can they can move up and down. 
V ankle can move up and down, ankle can move up and down, and then the ankles can go forward and back really far. And then the ball joint, well the ball joint on the, on the, t on the foot is a little bit tight, plus it's a bit, uh, not so much. But yeah, articulation on the Wyndham, it's pretty good. Well, my only gripe is like I said, the hips, I wish they used the, used the poly cap instead of a plastic joint. And then uh, the feet, which is uh, not so much in terms of the uh, ankle tilt. But other than that, the Wyndham, yeah, it's pretty good. Our accessories, well this is a grunt, so I have to show the accessories. So basically, first off, uh, you do get the beam sabers, which are on the uh, sides of the side skirts. That's the side skirts, okay. And stand up. Okay, this is not what I wanted. Okay. So, yep, the window can hold it in here like so. But they're pretty long as well, I just realized. So, yeah. You do get two curping beams. Pretty neat. And next up, you do, of course, this range weaponry. You do get the beam rifle. Now, yeah, this is a beam rifle. It looks pretty, it looks pretty nice. I like the, I like the design for a grunt. Holding this kind of beam rifle is pretty cool. Um, now here it has a little bit of a nitpick really, but I, I really wish they could have done, done this. But I mean, it's not, it's not a huge deal really because it's, I never see a window actually do this actually on, in, in the show as far as I know. The handle doesn't move. See? It doesn't move at all. It's, it's just two pieces of plastic stuff together and, a, and one piece of scope. Whatever, I mean, it's, it's a grind. I know in the windows it doesn't really hold it, doesn't do that really do it, but I kind of wish it does. So, it's, it, so if I do some more dynamic poses then it would be nicer. But yeah, if I could peg that on. Come on. Okay, there we go. So yep, the beam rifle on the hand, on the hand, pretty cool. And next up, uh, stupid plane. Sorry about that. Uh, it's the the uh, the fire gel slime past the house. It's pretty loud, so it's quite annoying. I can still hear it if you can hear that carefully. Okay. Anyways, uh, next accessory you got the shield, which there is a sticker for. Oops. There is a sticker for the uh, this 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 part of the shield, which I kind of wish is a separate piece, honestly, because uh, yeah, you should you, you can make the V fin yellow, but why can't you make the shield yellow? It's possible. Again, I mean, whatever. It's if you want to paint it, it's not an issue. But if you said, if you don't like stickers, then it's, that's gonna be a problem. But yeah, you can peg it onto the armor. So and if you want, you can actually store the uh, the the shield instead of on the side. You you can actually store it in the back. So you just take it out and. And so and also, you do get two uh, holes, so you can adjust how high or low you want the uh, shield to be on the arm. But most of the time, I I like to put the shield on the side and just pegs into the hole in the back back of the arm. Whoops. Yeah, so it's just easier to do it. Do it. Take out take out the connector and just peg the shield later on. Then that's the instructions. Yep. There you go. There you go. And of course, uh, since this is a strike mass production, a mass produced strike, you should have a strike strike, doesn't it? And here it is, the jet striker. Yep, uh, it almost all comes in gray, uh, in this kind of gray. Uh, there's only there's only a few parts that come in the dark gray for the joints, like these these uh, rings and the tur turbines, and then the uh, the missiles on the the wings. So okay, sticker wise. These these stripes on the on the wings, those are stickers. That orange part of this wing is a sticker. This part, this end of the, the jet striker is a sticker. And um I think that's about it. Oh wait, uh, sorry, I forgot. Uh the tail tail uh tips of the tails are also on, on uh stickers as well for both for both sides. And then uh and you just see the missiles are not in the correct colors. Again, I didn't really bother painting it, so um, because it's raining just on the, when I was building this kit, so I didn't, didn't want to paint it and decide that, yeah, I might as well just build like this. I mean, it's fine, it's all, it looks fine, but it should be like white, white, red, like a lot of colors, really. So, just like any strike, you just peg it down like so. And it does have articulation, so, um, yep, the wings can go up and down, and then the, uh, the striker pack can fold down. So, if it's in storage, if it's in storage you can do that, or if you want to store it like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's for accessories. I mean, for a grunt, that's that's uh, what you expect. But again, uh, this jacket trigger pack. Uh, I mean, I wish you could do a little more a little bit better. But for high grade, it's fine, honestly. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, for a grunt, it, you for a striker pack, that's pretty good. Uh, for comparisons, well, I'll have the main Arctic Twenty Eight, of course. Yep, the Wyndham is definitely taller. That's for sure. 
And of course, I had to bring his, you know, what what was the, the earlier version of the, the Wyndham and the so, and the next the pre previous mass production model of the Strike Dagger L. Yeah, these two look really good. Dude. Actually, I'll, I'll just show you right now. Oops, I forgot to drop my Okay, so I just take out the. Come on, it's stupid. There we go. Okay, so yeah, take out the striker pack, and if you want, you can just switch your shield. Okay, okay. Um, just put it on. It's a, it's a hundred percent com compatible. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Put the shield on. Yeah, I mean. I, like I said, I really, I mentioned unboxing, I really wish I've gotten that, uh, yeah, maybe for the was back heavy, but okay. I really wish i gotten the expansion set for the Windham and Dagger L, because it does come with the multi striker pack and the Doppelhorn pack. And so, I can actually get another Dagger L, get one Windham, and this two Dagger Ls and one Windham, and just give the Death Striker to the Dagger L, uh, give the Doppelhorn to another Dagger L, and give the multi striker pack to the Windham. So then, that, that will be, like, you know, good use for the striker pack, I, was, I would say. But yeah, I mean... That's it for review. Alright, that's a review of the Hybrid Windham. Now for 1400 yen, I think, um, yeah, this is a pretty nice kit. Um, it's a quick build, it's pretty easy and pretty fast. It's, uh, pretty fast to, you know, play, uh, build and, you know, pose around with, I suppose. So yeah, let's go. So details, well, I mean, you know, at the window itself, is color separation is pretty good. Uh, I do wish the, that the visor is not sticker, but rather a uh, clear piece. But you know what they're gonna do it, if if they can do this, I can, so I can paint. So that, that's not a problem with me. Um, articulation is pretty good, but like I said, the hips. I wish they reused. Really I really, really wish they used polycast for the hips instead of the instead of plastic joints because it will really, at one time, I'm pretty sure it will break if it, if I, if I plan to take it out on the shelf at one point. And then the ankles aren't that uh, tilt, don't tilt as much. So yeah, those are the, that's the weakness, weakness for the articulation. Uh, accessories, well, yeah, I mean it's a grunt. But like I said, the, the color separation should have been better, especially on the shield. I would say, yeah, they could have just put in just like the dagger. I, I, come on, if they can do it, the dagger L. Why can't they do it on this kit, really? Um, yeah, like I said, I really wish that yellow, yellow part on the shield is a, is a piece rather than a sticker. Uh, Jet Striker, okay, I can kind of kind of forgive what, what they're doing on this thing. The Beam Rifle is okay, but uh, like I said, I really wish the handle could move, but there's no point since the windows are great, and I don't think I ever saw the window actually dual wielding the the the, uh, the Beam Rifle with two hands. Uh, yeah, but other than that, it's, no, it's, a, it's a good kit. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy they actually reissued this kit recently. In fact, I think if you, mentioned, if you saw my unboxing, I actually mentioned, the I'm probably sure the reason why they reissued this kit for this year is because they're going to release the P Bandai uh, colors of the New Rona custom. Basically, it's the same Wyndham, just in New Rona colors, basically pink. It does think of it as a love, love Phantom, really, in terms of colors, I suppose. But yeah, under that, it's a pretty good kit. I mean, I highly, guys, highly suppose you guys recommend it. And if you want to build an army, this kit is perfect. Along with the Dagger L and most of the grunts in the HUC line, really. So, especially, especially like the, the final build kits, I guess I would say. But yeah, that's for you guys. Thank you for watching this review. And stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.